Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fakira binti Muhammad Zawardi. I am in year 6. My name is Putri Natisha binti Muhammad Razi. I am in year 6. My name is Nur Izati Adami binti Muhammad Nasrin. I am in year 6. We are from Sekolah Kebangsaan Gunung Bacok, Kelantan. Everyone, constructing sentences is not easy for some pupils, especially for English language. Due to that, many techniques are created to lead the pupils to be able to construct sentences correctly. One of the techniques is building sentences by arranging words or phrases in a correct order, following subject verb agreement. Boxes in boxes is created to attract pupils to rearrange sentences in a fun way. In addition, it is to improve pupils' ability to see the clear structure of building sentences. It can act as a surprising property which motivates the pupils to learn. Boxes in boxes consist of three boxes where the smallest box is in the middle size box and both of them are put in the biggest box. Each box has four exercises of rearranging sentences. Each box has different level than the other. The first box, which is the biggest box, has low level of exercises. The phrases prepared are color-coded, which are put in different container. According to subject, verb, and object, the picture are labeled with words, and the base is also labeled to help the pupils to rearrange correctly. The second box, which the middle size box, has medium level of exercises. The phrases prepared are color coded but they are put in the same container for an exercise. The pictures are labeled with words and the base is also labeled to help the pupils to rearrange correctly. The third box, which is the smallest, has the hardest level of exercises among the three. The phrases prepared are not color-coded and are put in the same container for each picture. Thus, it is encouraged for the pupils to be skillful in the first box before going to the second and third box. So they will not have many problems in the next box. The teacher must always monitor pupils' activity when using the innovation. It is because the innovation is created to help pupils to be able to build sentences with the correct structure. Each box has four pictures, boxes of words or phrases, color papers with strings and paper clips. The pupils sit in front of the box. Then, a pupil is asked to open the lid. The box sides fall on the table where pupils can see the pictures and color papers in it. The second box remains closed. Each pupil takes a color paper. They are given boxes of words or presses and the clothes pinned by the teacher. Then they are guided by the teacher to complete a sentence for each picture. After the pupils finish all 10 sentences, the teacher checks the pupils' answer. After that, the pupils change place to do other activities on the first box. The pupils will do the sentences until they understand how to build them correctly. When that happens, the pupils 
can proceed to the second box and third box, which are more difficult and challenging. As a suggestion, the teacher can also use the answer by the pupils to discuss with the class. The teacher can display the pupils' answer to other pupils. From this activity, other pupils can learn from their friends' answer. Moreover, the pupils who completed the sentences will be more confident if they are praised by their teacher in the class. We hope that the pupils will be able to improve their skill in building sentences correctly and appropriately. We do hope that our innovation will do good to many. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.